Hi, today we're going to talk about electricity. A simple way to understand the concept of electricity. Some people may confuse about electrons, currents, potential difference, and electromagnetic force. So let's get started. I want you to understand that the difference between one electron and one color of electrons are log 6.25 times 10 power of 18. Because in the later, I'm going to repeat uh, many times on one column of electrons. So we assume that the electron behaves same like the water. I'm pretty sure that you understand how water flows in a pipe, isn't it? So right now we just change the water into electrons. Electrons flow in a pipe, so we call it the current. Current is given that the formula capital I is equal to the Q. Q it means the charge divided by the time. So it's given that a unit for the charge is column per second, or simply A stands for ampere. It means that how many electrons that are able to pass through this wire in every second. Let's take an example. If given is 5 ampere, it means that there are 5 columns of electron that move through this wire in every single second. Okay, so we we'll talk about potential difference next. So we need to understand what makes water flow. For water it flows because of pressure. And same for electron to flow because of the voltage, or another name is electrical potential. Pressure is given that the formula is force over area. Same for voltage is the work done over charge. It means that how many work has been done to move a column of electrons from one place to another place. So in order to understand the pressure for water to move from one place to another place, there has to be a region of high pressure, let's say here is 300 Pascal, and a region of low pressure. So the water will be flow from high pressure to low pressure. It means it will flow from the left to the right. So if here we have the pressure difference. Only the pressure difference allow the water to move. The so same for electron from one place to move to another place. There has to be difference in terms of voltage or in terms of electrical potential. That's why we call the potential difference. Next, we're going to talk about electromotive force. So in an aquarium. In order to keep the fish uh, to alive, we need to recycle the water often. So the water keep on flow through this uh, to make a cycle and keep on repeat and repeat. So in order to maintain the water flows like this or to maintain the pressure difference, it needs a pump. So the pump in the aquarium is to maintain the water pressure in order for the water to flow continuously. Same for electrical circuit is the electromotive force. People will confuse of electromotive force think it is a force, but actually it is not a force. It is an energy. It is the energy supplied by the battery. So the battery supply EMF or supply energy in the circuit to maintain the potential difference. So that's how the electron or we call it the current keep on flowing the circuit and that's why the things keep on working for our electrical appliances. And that is about EMF. So you understand the difference between EMF and the potential difference.
MF is on the source of the, the battery that provide the energy. Well, the potential difference is on the electrical component. So that's all for today. Thank you very much.